today we're going to draw a landscape picture in the style of Grandma Moses. First thing you're going to do is write your name on the back of your paper and your class. Once you're done with that, we're going to draw the horizon line. If you remember, the horizon line is where the ground meets the sky. I drew a wavy line to match some of Grandma Moses' uh, pictures because she had hills that overlapped in the background of most of her paintings. Once you have two or three hills drawn in the background, I want you to start drawing some details on the hills. Remember things in the foreground or the front of your picture are going to be larger than things in the middle ground, which is the middle of your picture, and then in the background they're going to be super small. Right now I'm drawing a barn. I'm starting off with a square and then a triangle, but I want my barn to be three-dimensional. So I'm going to add the side of the barn going back in the distance by drawing a rectangle on the side. And the roof, I'm going to start at the tip of the roof and go backwards towards the back of the barn, but I'm not going to go all the way back because you need to make the back of the barn roof slanted as well. Now, you could make a barn or you could make a farmhouse. It's totally up to you. I do want you to draw at least one building in your picture. If you want to draw more, you can. We are going to be using oil pastels to color these objects in. Remember, oil pastels don't have a fine point, so make sure that your details aren't too detailed because otherwise it'll just turn into a blur when we go to color these. I'm adding some evergreens that are really tiny in the background because they're super far away and then I'll make things bigger as they get towards the front or foreground of my picture. I wanted to add a tree that didn't have any leaves on it anymore because it is the middle of winter. You wouldn't see trees with leaves on them. Again, I didn't want to add too many branches because my oil pastel is going to be kind of thick and I don't think I could get the details that I want. You can draw whatever you want in your picture. Look at some of Grandma Moses' paintings for some ideas, but think of things that people do outside in the wintertime. I added a road or a path going through my picture so that my horse-drawn sled would have a path to ride on. As I'm drawing my items in my picture, I'm thinking about the shapes that these items are like my horse here. I didn't draw really detailed images of my horse. I wanted to just draw the shapes so that you could generally tell what it was. When drawing people, I just drew stick people. Don't draw a lot of detail for the people either. You're not going to be able to see all of those different parts. Don't forget, things in the foreground or the front are bigger than things in the middle ground and in the background. Once you're done drawing your picture, you're going to get a piece of chalk and use the side of the chalk to make your fluffy snow. Start at the top, and at the very, very top where the hill first goes over the peak, you're going to draw very heavily with the chalk. You want it to be the whitest white it can be at the top of the hill, and then gradually get lighter as you get to the bottom of the hill. Use the side of your chalk to do this, and then use your finger to help smooth it out. It'll make your snow look nice and fluffy. 
By doing this, you should still be able to see your drawing. If you can't, you're using too much chalk. Continue to do that to each of your hills, making it the lightest at the top and darker as you get towards the bottom of the hill. Cover up your entire drawing. Next, we're going to use oil pastels to color in your picture. Use whatever colors you need to color in all of the items. You can mix oil pastel colors by coloring lightly with two colors. That's what I did to make gray on my barn. You can even overlap black oil pastel on top of colored oil pastel because it's so dark. Make sure you color in each of the things that you drew in your picture. Try not to smear it 